Hello folks, right then in this video we're going to start up the Caprice 32 C Amstrad CPC emulator. I'm going to show you how to load some games. So if you're not uh, familiar with how to load up the Amstrad CPC games in this emulator, then we'll show you in this video. Relatively uh, straightforward. I think there's a bit of a cult following um, with uh, the Amstrad CPC. Um, it was an English computer made by Alan Sugar, or he was the main man who, put, who invested in making the computer. Quite popular, not as popular as like Commodore 64s and ZX Spectrums. Um, I had an Amstrad CPC 6128, which had a disk drive. And um, I had a lot of fun with it and learned a bit of programming on it back in the day. Anyway, so we're here now to show you how to load up a game for the Amstrad CPC emulator. So assuming you've got your games loaded um, onto your emulator or whatever device you're using. So that's in this case, of course, you've got the Ambernique handheld system. Right, so what we need to do is load a game into the disk drive or the virtual disk drive here. So load disk A, so you can see that I'm toggling there through the options. Load disk A. So here's all the pre loaded games which I put stored on the filing system on the like um, the SD cards which you plug into the Ambernic. Like I say, we'll, we'll look into that if anybody's interested, we'll look into that uh, at a later day. So one of my favourite games actually was Fire Lord, but there was a great game that I loved. Head over hills. So let's load that up. Right. So that's loaded in. Head over hills. And away you go. That did that automatically. Sometimes it doesn't do that automatically. And um, you need to um, type in the run function. In this case, it's done it okay. Um, if you do get any problems, leave some comments in the comments below or any questions in the comments below and we can like tailor make some answers and remedies to those questions with a bit of luck. Now then somehow we need to get the uh, keyboard coming up here and I can't remember to do, how to do that. Because it's asked me for infinite lives, you don't really want that really coming up but it is and we can't get past that until we've done that. There we are, right. So the keyboard is pressing start and we can toggle through that. So using the cursor thing we jig on the left hand side, we can um, select Y for yes. So if we go back to this button part, which actually set up like a Nintendo Switch, we can select Y. So each letter or symbol corresponds with each button here. So in this case, we'll have, we'll have infinite lives, but you don't have to choose infinite lives, of course. Infinite ammo. Go on them. Infinite power-ups, yes. Infinite shield, yes. And press the start button to get rid of that screen. The keyboard interface. And uh, right, so if we want to select the keys, press any key to move cursor, press return to select options. So we want to get the keypad, keypad up again. And we can use the shoulder buttons, I think, to toggle through. There we are, toggle through the menus, he says. There we are, it is the shoulder buttons, I wasn't pressing it right. So return. I think this should be ready to go actually. There we are. So this can be a little bit frustrating, but you'll get used to it if you're obviously using it quite a lot. Um, this may be set, right, joystick. It should be set for the joystick anyway. So um, we should be okay. Shift to finish, so the shift to be on the virtual keyboard again. Now this is a bit of a bonus, bit of bonus info here. I think we saw shift just a minute ago. Where are we? Left shift, right shift, right. So let's just do shift there. 
and what was it to start? Like play the game. Select option, press return again. And there we go. Into the game. And there we go. Head over hills. Into the game, Amstrad CPC. Head over hills. And that's how you get the games working. On the Caprice 32 Amstrad emulator. We do some other videos at some point, like how to load up games onto the emulator onto this system, and maybe on like RetroArch systems. I just, on the PC I use RetroArch or RetroArch, and on this handheld obviously using um, separate emulators for each game system or computer system, retro computer systems. Like RetroArch, they are different emulators. I think you get some, some of the same, so you can load each emulator into RetroArch. Anyway, so there we are. That's how you get games working in the uh, CPC Caprice 32 Amstrad CPC computer emulator. So, thanks for watching, and see you soon.